very used to the this concept of a capacitor, right? Capacitor is just a, one electronic device. It's a kind of passive component of electrical circuits that we use, right, to store it, to store uh, charges. That's the main. That's the main. Jeff, the main purpose of a capacitor, like to store it, charge, and of course, and in a sense, and going to be clear, going to become clear later, to store also electric, electrical energy. But it's going, but I'm going to, to deal with this later on. Like a capacitor is very simple device. It just consists of consists of two, two plates, two parallel plates that can have some something in between or not. When you have something in between, this element, this something, the substance that you put in in between the plates, we call this a dielectric. When you don't have anything, then this is called like a vacuum capacitor or so on. Most most capa it depends on the, the the use actually, right? And basically, you have two plates with the opposite charge separated by a distance. As you can see, this is similar to problems that we have been solving on and on and on, right? We did this for the electrical, for the electric field, right? And we did this in, for the potential field too. Many times over, we solved this problem here, right? Trying to approach the electric field generated by infinite planes or plates. Because it's very useful for for since capacitors are everywhere from computers to cell phones everywhere they are really ubiquitous they we, we use them for so many applications sometimes it's very hard to find all so you but you are used to this you learned this in high school you also learned like the way you represent graphically in circuits when you are sketching circuits so this is the common cap uh, the common graphical representation of a capacitor just two plates two parallel plates sometimes you have like this yeah that means like a variable capacitor like this one okay but the most common one most of you uh, saw in high school and you are going to use again here is this this uh, representation here so also, we learned in high school that uh, what uh, characterizes a, a capacitor is a constant that we call capacitant, capacitance. And this, this constant is actually defined as the ratio between the charges and, right, that you have in the capacitor and the voltage or the potential, right, that you have uh, between the plates. We learned this, but uh, what are most interested in at this level is actually how to calculate this capacitance for various geometries and this is what you are going to put some some effort here in at uh, university level as you remember as you recall the unit for the capacitance is farad right guys one farad if you see here right this is uh, is the ratio between charge and the voltage we know that the units for let me put some color here you know that the units for for the charge is coulomb and the units for for the potential is volts so we have the units for a capacitance that is coulomb per volt or coulomb Uh, times volt to the minus one also sometimes a physicist they like to write like this in papers and so on and we call this most common of all we call this a farad this is a tribute to michael farad faraday the genius you know he's he, ha he has been helping us in many many things until now one very important thing that you have to stress here is that actually a farad is a very big unit it's a very very big uh, unit it's a tremendous tremendously big unit gigantic mastodontic unit so as you can see for practical applications we are going to use like sub multiples of a farad 
in this sense as for problems and even if you if you see some capacitors if you buy capacitors they're going to see that they're graded in very small in sub multiples of a farad like millifarads like microfarads and so on and that's because it's very big you can we can actually calculate if you what would be if you have one farad one fire capacitor uh, if you consider like parallel plate capacitor this would be i don't know bigger than earth i guess i don't remember we can do maybe for fun one of these days yeah but no, it's not the point now i'm more interested in, in teaching you how to calculate the capacitance so i think this is the most important part because this we don't see in high school and before you go we move to the next topic i would like to uh, stress this since now we are going to be dealing with problems with capacitors it's convenient to express the permittivity of the free space in terms of farads in, instead of um, a coulomb uh, these units here right so you have the that's very easy you just have to we you know that this is coulomb per volt you just have to work on this here to actually instead of representing in this set of units here we are going to represent the primitivity of free space as 8.85 picofarad per meter that's going to be convenient when you are solving problems right since involving capacitors and guys let's move okay this is a brief introduction right to uh, what a capacitor is let me so now let's move to the next one one second